My next guest really needs no introduction. Professor Pete Weitzner, who is the contributing editor to the OC Business Journal, is here. I am so excited because I want to pick his brain about <laughs> OC politics. Ah, so glad that you're here. Pete, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. It's great. What a great setup you have here. <laughs> yeah. Super it fun. So super fun. fun. Super professional. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. And it's so great to be able to have you on the show. Thank and you. you you know, I love the Business Journal. We're subscribers. We just love working with your team. And so we have, you know, and it's it's wonderful. I'd love to first hear about a little bit about your background. Sure. I know you've got decades of experience in journalism as well as teaching. And then I am really curious about the political yeah. situation here. <laughs> yeah, just business and politics. It's what's going on in OC. And the economy, too. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little about your background, Pete. Sure. So uh, real quick, um, I went, I'm um, a New York, New Jersey boy. Went to Rutgers because if you're not smart enough to get into Princeton, you go to Rutgers. Excuse me, I went to Rutgers, too. It's, and Johnson & Johnson, which is the company. <laughs> Fabulous company, so I, yeah. I was an I international. I think we should amend that statement and say, if you're cool, you go to Rutgers. There you go. Thank you very much. <laughs> you're smart, because you spend the money on the graduate school, right? That's right. Well, I did That's not get right. into Princeton. And Brooke Shields was going that same year, so I really wanted to go. Uh, for your CPA, uh, decided I wanted to finally pursue my dream, which would be a sportscaster, a couple of small markets. I never went for sports. I, You go to journalism schools, a lot of folks who are interested in a lot more. I was just a sports business person. Mm -hmm. uh, so I did news, Arizona, Missouri, got lucky. Came out to Orange County, the Register and its salad days was starting the Orange County News Channel. And I did that for about eight, nine years, interviewed presidents, all wow. the big business people. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was great. Ba Orange County bankruptcy, big stories. Mm -hmm. Charles Teeting and uh, it affected a lot of people here. It did. And then fell into being a professor at Chapman, which I ran broadcast journalism for 20 years ago and again got lucky because there I caught the Chapman, the boom, especially of the mm -hmm. film school. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, Chapman is such a fantastic university that, you know. It was hard to leave. I just say the last part is a couple of years ago I got the offer to be the editor of the Business Journal. And um, it was, you know, it was now or never. And I wanted yeah. to, s to uh, get back in the real economy. And it's, Covering business in Orange County is, and it's so different now, right? I came out here, it was defense and real estate. We still have that, not so much defense, but we've got, of course, medical device and high tech so and, and sure. leisure and hospital. I mean, very diversified, very different. It is, it's very diversified. In fact, um, you know, at our agency, we work with probably 300 different healthcare companies. Probably a hundred of them are here in Orange County. Mm -hmm. sure. It's unbelievable to see like the diversity and the, 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 you know, thriving businesses here. Awesome. Yeah, you know, if you you can't be excellent, you can't be nationally or even internationally international caliber and everything. But I would say if there's two that Orange County can hold its head up with anyone, it's medical devices. Mm -hmm. It's Edwards now is the big, big company, but that all came from a 50, 60 years of Baxter and Beckman, mm -hmm. and it's real estate in every form, mm -hmm. commercial, residential, architecture. A, we do that very well. Yes, absolutely. I love Orange Well, and Canada. rightfully so. I mean, mm -hmm. look what we've got to offer. And, sure. and when you get to a point in your life where you get to choose where to live, how many people are actually looking to Orange County as their first choice? So no, they are, and we, we are. Up. Yeah, we we're, we are. We do have a, like a, a domestic out migration. All of California does. Mm -hmm. a problem among younger people, mm -hmm. people who maybe make less than a hundred thousand because it's so expensive. But we have an in migration of wealthy people, which is is a good thing. Uh, they you know they spend, they buy homes, right. and it's real and it's you can really see the growth. Um, like in the financial center and uh, over by uh, by Fashion Island, it, it, it's Wall Street. There isn't a major firm or a major private bank that doesn't have, and this is new so, to some extent, uh, like a BlackRock, biggest asset mm -hmm. manager in the world. It's like they've discovered all this wealth that's down mm -hmm. here. Now we just got to keep our, do a better job of keeping our young people. That's a long-term yeah. thing. That's right. That's right. So the economy itself, would you say, is fairly strong? Fairly strong, where it's not the halcyon days of yore. I was at uh, the other day, Fullerton did their uh, spring forecast. And as an example, this year we'll build 7,500 looking at permits, housing units, apartments, uh, single family. Pre-Great Recession, 15,000, twice mm -hmm. as many. Wow. 
and we need housing. Mm -hmm. It's one of the reasons it's so expensive. That's right. And with those construction jobs are a great multiplier. Mm -hmm. Having said that, we're still at about 3% unemployment. Mm -hmm. The median value of a home hit all-time high, 800,000. It's wow. come down a little. And bravo if you bought a home in 2009, 2010. Might have been the last opportunity, right? Yeah. You probably doubled, if not tripled. And we've gained all the jobs lost from the recession. We talked about the newly diversified mm -hmm. Orange County economy. But we have some issues. Housing would be certainly one of them, and that's the key to keeping the 21s to 44s. They all come back when they're successful and exactly. have families, but that's we right. want a lot of them here now, too. They spend and they add to a vitality of a, of, a, of a region. That's right, that's right. So you would say that housing is probably our number one problem that we need to solve. So all of you real estate developers out there, <laughs> multi, multi-family. So, uh, so what else? What's a, what's another? What would you say is like the second biggest challenge that we have? We believe it or not, we are not producing enough high-paying jobs. So mm -hmm. I mean, we're an expensive place to live. We always will be because of the water, because of the safety. It's such an unbelievable three of the top ten safest cities in the country. Uh, schools, you know, mm -hmm. as they say, the lifestyle index. I think we're non-pareil. We're number one. Takes into account weather, school safety. So, but. To be able to afford all that, you have to produce yeah. high-paying jobs. That's right. And we are uh, looking at like the top 20 metropolitan areas. We're toward the bottom. Mm. The Research Triangle area of North Carolina, Dallas. I mean, the, of course, Silicon Valley. Right. Far surpassing us. Mm. How do you do that? How do you get more? You know, we actually have had a decent little run in the last year. Chipotle moving out here, leaving Denver to come... Brian Nickel was from Taco Bell, so he knew the area. Mm -hmm. um, so you can sell enough CEOs who want to live at the beach, but we need more than that. And I applaud, that was the whole reason, I applaud Mr. Bren when he made the pitch for Amazon. We were never going to get Amazon. No one on the West Coast was. Why would right. they put their second beachhead here? And you know they picked. Well, they did pick New York. Now yeah. I was just going to say that I'm like maybe they'll come to come and rethink the West Coast. Well, Bren made, and the reason he wanted to call attention to the fact it was fifty thousand jobs, good paying. That we, what a lure that would have been for young people yeah. to not leave here or come here. Um, but yeah, uh, and he, you know, he said, "I'll bankroll your five billion that you need to build all your facilities." But. Uh, it wasn't going to happen. Yeah. All right. So we've got we've got housing is number one. High paying jobs is number two. Can you give us a little bit of an overview of the political climate right now? Well, what a change, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and, um, you reeled me in on that one, but this this is fact. So I come out here in 1990. Mm -hmm. Every single state lawmaker, every single congressional lawmaker is a Republican. More than that, okay. in '88, George H.W. Uh, uh, Bush carried California with a 300,000 plurality from Orange County. Mm -hmm. This is where Ronald Reagan declared for his second term. We had Chairman Tom Fuentes, who was legendary, the late Tom Fuentes figure. If you came through Orange County as a Republican, you, you stopped here. Of course, you got some money, mm -hmm. but it, it, this was, as I always described, a bedrock conservative Orange County. Right. Flash forward to 20, as we sit here in 2019, every single lawmaker in the Sacramento is a Democrat. Every single one in Washington is a Democrat. I was talking to my friend Tom Umber, a Democrat just rejoined uh, state Senate. He's saying, I go, Tom, how's it different from the first time? He goes, well, you know, it was close in Sacramento. It was like 42, 38, and committees usually had a way. He goes, Pete, there's one committee, I'm like, 7-1 Democrat. He goes, that's not really that good. There's no discussion. Mm -hmm. yeah. How did it happen? Changing demographics, for mm -hmm. sure. Um, a lot of other factors. Mm -hmm. You know, Republicans still have an edge here in registration. A lot of outside money came in on that last mm -hmm. uh, round. Mm -hmm. They isolated Orange County as a place they felt could help them turn Congress mm -hmm. uh, blue, and it worked. Mm -hmm. So will it continue in 2020? I don't know, but the period when I got here, you know, a lot of that came from the Cold War, and you uh -huh. had these staunch... American uh, communities like the Vietnamese, you know, uh, who came here, and but now we're f 40 years uh, from that, so it's like it's up for grabs, really. Right, now I don't right. expect it'll be monolithic uh, mm -hmm. for long. No, but would you, do you think that 
because of the changing nature of the parties themselves. I mean, just calling yourself a Republican, calling yourself a Democrat today, doesn't mean what it meant when Ronald Reagan was here. Absolutely it's just not. not the same. Yeah, that was first and foremost in the context of the Cold War, right. which uh, of course is long gone. And um, I would say now the nature of Republicans here are more Rockefeller Republicans. Mm -hmm. They're business Republicans, mm -hmm. which is really very different from the rest of the country, where it's um, uh, you have you know Second Amendment Republicans and social That's conservatives. Right. That's not Orange County. Orange no. County is probably on balance a pro-choice, even the Republicans, yeah. mm -hmm. pro-choice county. Mm -hmm. Uh, I look at that more look focused. at it that way too because I feel like as a country and especially in Orange County people are so um, savvy now you don't see things in black and white anymore mm -hmm. you don't see things in two parties anymore you see things on a sliding scale and people are making their own decisions and it's a, it's very different so I was curious about that that two party system. Well that's a great working. point I'll just say the quick example it's mm -hmm. not as if the Democrat party uh, is growing it's it's no. declining the state it's independence. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very well put. Yeah, very interesting. Well, we could continue this conversation I want for to days. continue this for days. But <laughs> will you come we'll back it. again another time? I would Let's love dive to. Deeper into Congratulations it. on this show. When did it Thank start? You. We've been doing this for a long years, time. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. It started out with just me, and then I realized I couldn't carry it by myself. <laughs> Always better to have <laughs> from, from my 9,000 years of experience. Fun. It's just more fun. And, and I was like, photo. I need a friend. Who can I get? It's Lauren. <laughs> fun, fun to be here. I come back anytime. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Appreciate it. We'll be right back. <laughs>